a Marigot man was sentenced to five years behind bars on one count of buggery. The nine-member jury had handed down a unanimous guilty verdict back on January 17th. Appearing once again before Justice Victoria Charles Clark, Harold Tyson was told that he would spend the next five years in jail. A social inquiry ordered by Justice Charles Clark reported that Tyson, a former member of the Marigot Village Council as well as a former scout troop leader, was very active in his community and often worked with young children. The victim was male and above the age of consent. Tyson's attorney, Wayne Norty, told the court during the sentencing phase that Tyson was indeed sorry and asked the judge for leniency. Justice Victoria Charles Clark indicated that she had considered both the aggravating and mitigating factors before sentencing. During her deliberation, Justice Charles Clark said she took into, the, into consideration the fact that Tyson himself was the victim of both physical and emotional abuse as a child, that Tyson's victim was above the age of consent, and that Tyson had no previous convictions. She did, however, point out that Tyson has shown no remorse for his actions. The crime was premeditated since Tyson waited until the victim fell asleep before he committed the crime and that penetration was involved. Those were all considered. Justice Charles Clark went on to say that the victim is now psychologically affected and has been largely ostracized by his community since the incident. The victim was also reportedly a recluse, isolating himself in his home unless it is absolutely necessary to go out. The maximum sentence for the crime is 10 years. However, Justice Charles Clark started sentencing at 7 years and factored in the time that Tyson already spent in prison. A one